Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Curves. Today's video is part two of the Halloween decoration DIY series and all the five DIYs today are again budget friendly and really easy to do. If you haven't watched the first part of this series, do watch that too. I will leave a link to that in the description box below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to be notified of my upcoming videos. Now let's start on with the video. For the rich legs DIY you will need one pool noodle and two dowels. I got the pool noodle from Dollar Tree and the dowels from Michaels. Now I'm going to bend the noodle, tie it up on the U side and then cover it up with a pair of leggings. Next I'm going to insert this into a box, you can take any box of the shape just for the support down below and then use any lightweight boots that you have on hand. A heavier boot will make it difficult for the witch legs to be fixed in place in the bushes. I'm also tying both the boots together otherwise the legs would fall apart and it would not stand in place. For this DIY, I'm using the rod from a broomstick that I have. So that way I don't have to buy a new rod for that. For the bottom portion, I'm using a brown paper, folding it up and then I'm going to cut it into strips. Now next I am going to wrap the frilly paper around the rod. And decorate with a simple ribbon. Lastly, fix the broom part to the rod using scotch tape and the witch broomstick is ready. This is a really cute and fun DIY and it's ready in just 5 minutes. All you need for this is a glass jar, gauze and some googly eyes. Instead of the gauze you could also use some white streamers or some old white fabric strips to wrap around the glass jar and that works too. You can also have your kids paint some faces on glass jars as a fun DIY project. First off, I am using a small ball to make the ghost head. You can use anything that gives you a little bit of a structure, like a bunch of rags or a newspaper crumpled up into a ball shape. 
Now take a white piece of fabric and cover the ball. For the ghost arms, you need some sort of wire. What I have used is actually a wreath that you get from Dollar Tree. Now next fix the wire to the ghost head. Now I'm putting on another white t-shirt onto the face and fixing the eyes and mouth to this fabric. I know you did see the eyes and nose on the previous smaller fabric too. But that was a small mistake, so guys, please ignore it. Wrap a white streamer or cloth around the arms. Now cover the whole face with the semi-transparent or translucent fabric. I'm using a sheer curtain in this case. And stitch a small loop of yarn or thread for the ghost hanging. And that's it, a fun little ghost is ready to be hung onto any tree. For this, I'm using three popsicle sticks and some yarn. I will start by knotting the yarn to one of the popsicle sticks right in the center. And going over two sticks and wrapping around one. Again, I go over two sticks and wrap around one. And continue this process till you reach the end of it. As you reach the end of the popsicle sticks, you will notice that it is a little bit difficult to hold on to the yarn. So I'm going to start to glue the yarn to hold it in place. And lastly, tie a string to the back so that you're able to hang it anywhere. And complete this look by adding in some spiders. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed these DIYs. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Coffee Curves. If you do try out any of these DIYs, please do share a picture and tag me on Instagram and Facebook. My details are in the description box below. And these are some of my DIYs from part 1 of this video. So if you are interested, I will leave a link for that too in the description box. See you guys soon with another interesting video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.